In today's episode, I want to lift up a couple of important things happening here at St. Philip the Deacon and also have an invitation for those of you who may be watching this on the St. Philip the Deacon YouTube channel or Facebook page. Stay tuned. Hello, friends. Pastor Tim Westermeyer here, senior pastor of St. Philip the Deacon in the western suburbs of Minneapolis. Good to be with you as always. Uh, today, a little unusually, we are publishing this not on two, but on three platforms the regular Reflections on Faith YouTube platform, uh, the St. Philip the Deacon Facebook platform, which we do every week. But we're also publishing this on the St. Philip the Deacon YouTube page. Um, and I'm going to make a special invitation to those of you on the SPD Facebook page or the SPD YouTube channel at the end of this uh, episode. So if you would stay tuned for that. Um, but now to the content. Uh, the last three weeks we have covered um, help for making decisions. We've talked about what it means to be called by God. And last week we talked about um, is the Christian life about forgiving others or is it about being forgiven? Um, and I love to discuss those kinds of, uh, let's call them faith-based questions or theological questions. I love talking about uh, deep thinkers from the Christian tradition and sharing that wisdom here. But in this episode, and we do this periodically as well, I want to lift up a couple of things that are more, let's call it, uh, logistical or uh, timely as it relates to the life of St. Philip the Deacon specifically. So this episode is going to be published on, let's see, the, 5th, the 7th of February. That's Wednesday, February 7th. So the first thing I want to lift up is the day after it's published, if you're seeing this later, of course, that doesn't apply. But if you're seeing this on the 7th, then the day after that, Thursday, February 8th, our Faith and Life series continues. Um, I'll hold this up. We'll also maybe put a graphic up. That will feature Margaret Feinberg. Uh, the topic is Faith and Faith. Food And she is an author, uh, has written books about food in the Bible. She's going to be fabulous. So I hope if you're in town, you'll join us for that 7 o'clock here on site at St. Philip the Deacon and Sanctuary. You can also um, access it via live stream either in real time or you can access an archive of it later at the Faith and Life website. And we'll again uh, link to that. So that's the first thing, the, the continuation of this year's Faith and Life series. Then the following Wednesday, that's the Wednesday after this is being published, um, is Ash Wednesday. So that's the start of Lent. Uh, that's Wednesday, eight, uh, February 14th. It comes very early this year. Um, we'll have Ash Wednesday services at noon, 5.30 and 7. And then, importantly, for the five Wednesdays following that, we will, as we have done for many years, have a soup supper. Uh, 5.30, I believe the soup supper starts. Uh, that's in the Fellowship Hall. Again, if you're around, please join us for that. This year we're doing it as a free will offering, so you don't have to pay uh, to come in. And then at 7 o'clock each of those Wednesday evenings, we have an evening prayer service, Holden Evening Prayer, which is genuinely a high point of the year for, for me and I know for many. Uh, our four children are sort of largely grown now, but they grew up with that service every year, and they would tell you it was part of, one of their favorite times of the year. There's something kind of quiet and gentle and informal about uh, worship at night, especially after a soup supper. So I hope you can join us for those in person if you're around, if not. You can also, of course, watch those via live stream. And uh, importantly, our theme for those five Wednesdays of Lent is going to be Dietrich Bonhoeffer's book, Life Together, which conveniently is, is divided into five different chapters. So we'll focus our attention on one of those chapters each of those Wednesday nights. We have some copies of this book here at the church, but it's readily available. Uh, we'd encourage you to pick up a copy and sort of read it along uh, through the Lenten season. So that's my sort of um, advertisement, I guess, for a couple of things coming up here at St. Philip Deacon that we hope you'll join us for. Now back to that point I was making about those of you, uh, maybe specifically on the St. Philip the Deacon YouTube channel, if you are subscribed there, um, might I invite you to hop over to the Reflections on Faith channel on YouTube and also subscribe to that channel. Um, you can check out, I think we have up to, we're, we're approaching 300 episodes now, I think, of these. Uh, you can check those out, see if you'd like to be subscribed, but if you're connected to St. Philip Deacon already, uh, I'd encourage you to do that. Um, it, it helps to 
increase the uh, awareness of this channel for others by you subscribing to it and you also get alerted then to upcoming episodes. And if you're, I've mentioned this before as well, if you're watching this on the Facebook page of St. Philip Deacon, that's great. I'm glad you are. But again, if you're also subscribed to channels on YouTube, might I ask you as well to hop over to YouTube and subscribe to the Reflections on Faith channel there for the same reason. It gives you alerts and it helps to spread news of what we're doing uh, beyond the walls of the church. So I hope you'll consider that. Um, I really do hope I'll see you at the Faith and Life event and I'm looking forward with you to this year's Lenten theme and Lenten season. Um, so I hope you see you, I'll see you for those services as well. And in the meantime, as always, be well, stay in touch, and God bless. Mm-hmm.